Uh, it's a F-150. I'm gonna be putting a four channel amplifier. His, and his Mustang on here, will you use it? Fers, four speakers, amp, this Pioneer radio here. We got the box now. We got these the Rockford Fosgate subs. Right now I'm hooking everything up just to test the ohms because we gotta make sure the resistance is down to two ohms. So I connected everything. Now I wanna go ahead and test it right here. Right there. So we're gonna put one lead on one end. It has it's gotta, it's gotta say two. If it says four, we wire it on. Hold on. Ooh, one nine, one eight. One point nine, one point five, one point six. That's that's around two, so I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna hook these up over here. I need some terminals for there. Okay. All right, let me give you guys an update. I got this all hooked up already. We got our epicenter. We got the DS18 amp here, so we got everything all hooked up. We got the subwoofers. Rockford Fosgate. So we pretty much have everything hooked up. All right, there. We couldn't get the radio to turn on. Why? Because we connected our wiring harness and everything, but we don't have ignition on on the stock side, so we had to tap into this AC line here. And we got it working. So there's a video on the internet, but it doesn't tell you which one. It's a brown, all brown. What is that? This This one here. All brown wire. You guys can test it. And it works. Let's connect your phone. Everything's tuned already. Alright, so we got our power wire hooked up here. We got a zip tied here. We got our fuse here. Zip tie this and then zip tie it a couple more places down there. So we're all done with the hood part here. Everything's good with our power wire. So a power wire, I don't know if you guys see where you can't see that. Oh there we go. We got it coming from the engine bay over here up to here. So on trucks, it's a lot easier to just make the wiring come through here. You guys can see I put a little rubber grommet there with silicone to just cover off in case there's any water. And we got our power wire running through here. Over to where our amp is going to be, which is going to be under the seat. So we're going to clean all this area up. It looks like a rat's nest right now. I'm probably going to get started with securing our amp and everything under the seat and then getting all this cleaned up and ran over to the dash. 
All right, everything's mounted already. I just used some self-tapping screws so that the amp wouldn't move from here. That thing's nice and solid. And this, I attached it to the amp with some double stick tape. That way this thing's not moving at all anymore. And this is nice, but we have all our wiring in nice and cleaned up. You guys probably can't see it back there. But everything's nice and tucked in. All right, we ran all the wires up to the dash right here. Now I'm going to put his um, base knob and epicenter knob, but we want to do a clean setup. You know, we always do clean setups in here. So I'm thinking I'm going to, whoa, is this your microphone right here? We might even be able to put your mic in the exact same spot as it was before. So we might be doing a nice clean setup for him. So I'm going to be doing this little sink thing since he can't use sink anymore because we took obviously the other radio off we're going to be putting it in here in the dash and i'm going to cut a hole maybe here and here to run uh the base knobs we got the base knob and the epicenter so hopefully it's doable we'll see right now we might have to do a little bit of cutting in the back to make it work but it'll work so let's go and do this. I think that is your mic right there, dude. Le mato a su mamá, su papá, a su abuela. Y su abuela ya está muerta, la cuarga y all right everything is done now everything's buttoned up nice and clean we got the stereo this is probably the part that took us the longest because uh the kit that comes with this is made for a single den so you have to get a separate kit like that for the double den and we wanted to make sure that it's nice and aligned no gaps anywhere so it's nice and perfect right there. We got Caesar's base button right here, or base knob and epicenter knob down here. You guys can see that. And then microphone is right there. So we got everything working. Everything's buttoned up. So we ran everything down here. Let me show you guys. So well, first the wire was orange, so I wrapped it in some Tesla tape so you couldn't see it that much. And then we got the amp epicenter down here. We got the subwoofers. Usually I would have uh, mounted some insert nuts under here and threw the box down. Caesar wants to take this box out and in all the time. So to make it easier for him, all we did was put brackets here, one on this side and the other side. So it stayed nice and secure here. So I'm gonna give you guys a little demo of the difference of how it sounds compared to all, this is the stock stuff here. Stock radio, stock speakers, and everything. So let's go ahead and uh, show them a little preview. So everything's tuned already. That's going to be it for this video guys. Make sure that you guys subscribe. We're almost reaching 14,000 subscribers. So make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys like these kind of videos so I can keep posting. And make sure that you guys visit projectvc.com to copy your merch. Make sure you guys support the channel if you guys like these type of videos. Make sure that you guys rep your shirt. I'm going to start doing shout outs now on uh, my videos at the end. So I'll give a couple shout outs to the people that comment on my previous video. So uh, let's see. I'm going to go random here. Big shout out to Snooze BTW. Thank you for supporting. Julio Trocas. Thank you guys for supporting. And I'll do one more. Uh, let's see here. Uriel Torres. 
thank you guys for supporting so make sure that you guys subscribe like i said we're almost at 14,000. make sure that you guys follow me on instagram i do post on there so if you guys ever want to see behind the scenes i'll post on there and that's going to be it for this video so make sure that you guys stay tuned for the next one I met a limitation, hate applying my elimination Gotta go to Google for the information I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine Top dollar be the bottom line Bottom feeding niggas out of line Turn your heart rate to a dotted line Yeah, my Zodiac probably dollar sign Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great Got a date with destiny, focusing on my face